Uh, I received correspondence from Pastor Kurt Schneider at St. Paul's Lutheran uh, asking for all of the congregations in town as well as the college to ring their bells at 11 o'clock to remember the flood of 2008 in Waverly and uh, both uh, to remember the, the struggle and pain of the people who had to recover and the city as a whole, but also to remember the, the wonderful work that people in Waverly and the surrounding areas did to, to be able to support those who were most affected by the flood. It's a wonderful tribute. It is. I think it's the symbolism tribute. is quite, quite powerful. It is, and I think the people of Waverly have done such an incredible job working together and providing help for the people directly affected as well as long-term planning. Uh, you know, here on campus, uh, Dan Kittle and the Center for Community Engagement did a huge amount of work providing both the shelter at the W and then also uh, coordination for volunteers uh, who came in and helped. What struck you about the response of, of the community the most? Oh, hmm. I think the response that I appreciated the most was the fact that people that didn't even know each other, you know, came out, spent the rest of their summer helping other people in the community. And uh, students who lived in the area, you know, were part of that work and they've taken on those projects all during the year also.
where you can't. And uh, some other European countries, it was the bells of the church that told the time of day and that helped move people both to prayer as well as to their daily work, you know. So that's kind of the, the genesis of uh, the fact that in small towns in the Midwest, there's still a siren sometimes that goes off at noon because that's when people broke for noon. They relied on the clocks and at that point in time, it was the, the church clocks and the bells that called people both to their daily work and to prayer. And here at the, at the college, uh, the bells ring the class times uh, each day of the week. So when the, uh, before the classes begin, the bells ring and kind of mark the day. Uh, and then they're used for uh, to ring around weddings at the end of the wedding and uh, to toll for funerals. And so they mark our life together both on campus but also with the community as we're able to participate in this kind of remembrance. What was going through your mind as you were um, mm -hmm. listening to the bell this time? I know you've heard <laughs> it many times before. Oh, yes. But this time, was it any different? Well, I was remembering the fact that we had almost 50 faculty and staff uh, affected by the, directly affected by the flood, and uh, but also the fact that that this college has done so much to be engaged in our community and live out our faith as an institution and our mission as an institution in being engaged in the world, and so I'm so grateful uh, for the people and for the knowledge of uh, not just people that work at Warburg but people in the community who were directly affected and who really, unless you go through a flood like this, you have no clue, even though there's no one who dies, which is a big thing, people's lives are changed. Uh, and they get to ask deeper questions about, you know, what does it mean to be alive and to be people in the world? Uh, you have to struggle through belongings and memories and, and uh, what's important. And, and, a, and a flood, a flood of, the, of the, the epic proportions we had last year shows you very quickly how to sift through the unimportant things that's and exactly focus right. on the... That's exactly right. And I important. think, as always, it's the relationships that, that uh, cement the community together and, uh, you know, the mission, the mission of a college like this. Thank you. Thank you.